welcome back to my channel. So Memorial Day is coming up and even though we're not going to be able to get together this year or go to a parade, that doesn't mean we can't celebrate in a new way. And I have cookies for you for however you choose to celebrate this year. I want to share with you three patriotic designs that are all fairly simple and super festive. They all start off the same way by making the dough and coloring it into three colors, red, white, and blue. I'm going to share some links in the description box below of my recipes and a tutorial on coloring dough, but I've already done that, so let's get started. My favorite thicknesses for a sugar cookie are 3 eighths of an inch and a half an inch. Today we're going to do a 3 eighths of an inch roll and then we're going to cut them out in star shapes. roll these a couple of times, especially if you're using the silicone mat and not adding flour to your dough. When I only have a little bit left of each color, I'm now going to change the thickness that I'm rolling to one sixth of an inch and I'm going to be cutting out some little tiny mini stars. A sixth of an inch is about a high crust thickness. If you arrange the small stars so that they're over the edge of the larger cookie, just go ahead and use a sharp paring knife to trim the edges. decorating your patriotic cookies is using the dough to decorate the dough. Now the second way is also going to be using the dough as the decoration, but I discovered this one when I ended up with scraps of colored cookie dough and not enough to cut out a full star. So this tutorial was originally going to be called patriotic cookies two ways, but then at the end of cutting out my stars I realized I still had extra colored dough that wasn't enough to cut out another large star cookie, but it was certainly together enough to make more cookies. So I decided to create a marbled look with these, and you might even find that you like it enough to make your whole set like this. So we're gonna start just by kind of pulling apart and portioning out the cookie dough, and we're gonna mix in white with every little piece of blue and every little piece of red. I have a lot of little red and white partnerships and blue and white partnerships. You'll notice I didn't put any red and blue together and that's because I didn't want to end up with some purple. So I'm just going to take these and kind of incorporate them a little bit but not enough to change it to pink just so that you can see that swirl there. Then I'm going to place my red and white swirl pieces all together and I'll do the same for the blue. I've taken my red and white and my blue and white mixtures and just kind of smushed them together a bit and I'm back to my 3 eighths of an inch roller. I'm going to roll these pieces out and kind of make sure that they get pushed together. I'm going to take my star cutter and just cut right down the center so that it has part red and white and part blue and white. I think these are pretty cool. For my third way of decorating, I've set aside a few of these solid colored stars before putting the smaller mini stars on them. I'm going to go ahead and bake these just as they are and then I'm going to decorate them with my glaze icing. 
I'm gonna put a link right here and down in the description box below of my icing basics tutorial. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I like to put the cutout shapes in the freezer while my oven preheats. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up for 340 degrees. I'm gonna put these in the freezer to chill out and then they're gonna go in the oven for 18 minutes. Up next, I'm gonna demonstrate how I decorate with the glaze icing and then at the end, I'm gonna show you how all three styles turn out. Using piping consistency white icing, outline the star cookie. Then fill in the star using flood consistency icing. Next, using red and blue, Pipe alternating lines on the star. Then gently drag through the icing with a toothpick or scribe tool to create a swirl design. Again, outline and flood your cookie with the white icing. Then, using red and blue, pipe alternating circles covering the star. Use a toothpick or scribe to gently drag the icing from the center to the outer edge, creating a firework design. It's important to note that each of these designs were created with what is called a wet-on-wet -wet technique, so you need to work quickly and add the details and drag your toothpick through while the icing is all still wet. After outlining and flooding with white, use the red and blue piping to create alternating stars. Use your toothpick or scribe to gently drag the icing from the outer corners towards the center. So you guys, they turned out so adorable. I can't even choose. And I think that's probably why I ended up with a three-in-one tutorial. But my son preferred these. He actually, I think that this was like a dream come true for him because he likes his cookies without icing on them. So this is really cool because it looks neat. I think the extra stars on top made him think he was getting like extra cookies. My youngest daughter really liked the marble look and my husband picked the decorated with the glaze icing. So you're gonna have to comment below. Let me know what your favorite is. Let me know which ones you're gonna try. The good news is you could do a platter like this all together in one. You don't have to choose. So hopefully this gave you some inspiration to make some cookies. And if you liked this video and wanna see more like it, make sure you hit subscribe. Happy Memorial Day.